Hey, this is Dave, and by the way, and today I'm going to give you an in-depth tutorial on the BuildCraft mod. Uh, I've been searching around for, looking around for tutorials, and none of them are very good. I'm hoping that this one is better than what I have actually found, but uh, this is going to be part one of two parts. I believe I will get up to about half of the things that you can make in BuildCraft. So let's get started. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out of here that I need. We're going to start off with uh, gears. Well, the first gear is made by making sticks. Putting sticks in this arrangement, you get a wooden gear. Now the gears are going to be used for the majority, of the, they don't do anything on their own. Like uh, if I put a gear in my hand, it doesn't do anything. Um, they are going to be used as the building blocks of some of the later uh, quarries and, and mine, mining well, mining wells and whatnot, uh, but they're the main building block of those things later on. Now, uh, now the gears all go up in progression, as you can see. By ha I have these um, different materials. After a wooden gear, there is the stone gear. We're taking the stone gear and putting iron all the way around it. You get an iron gear. Now these are going to progressively get more and more expensive to make, and uh, obviously the more like the quarry uses, uh, I think seven different gears, two of which are diamond, two of which are gold, and three iron maybe. But uh, after iron, you've got the gold gear, and the top of the top of the chain is the diamond gear. That is the last gear that you can make uh, in the build craft. The buildcraft mod. Now, those are the main building blocks for later pieces of machinery that you're going to end up using. So, uh, we move on to the uh, the pipes. Now, the pipes are what, uh, when you're using a quarry or a mining well, what transfers the stuff that's being mined up to a box, uh, to a regular box like this. Uh, you can put these, uh, I'll obviously when I get to that point I'll show you, but um, they will transfer the items. Now, the first block we start with is the lowest of them, the wooden block. Now, two planks with a glass in the middle, you get eight wooden transport pipes. That is very, very nice. Now, the wooden transport pipes, what they do is when you give power to them, they will take one item at a time out of a box and move it to another area, or one full stack, depending on how much power you actually give the wooden transport pipe. <coughs> Dogs barking in the background, like always. Now, the next pipe is a cobblestone pipe. This is a standard pipe, very cheap to make, obviously, as glass and cobblestone are not hard to come across. Uh, each one will always make eight. The cobblestone pipe is just a standard transfer pipe. Nothing special, no nothing about it. Now what's going to happen is you just place these down and they you create like a series of pipes. Like this. If you were to place it next to, oops, next to one of these, it attaches to it and it will actually transfer whatever is being pushed through it into that box. But let's move on. The next pipe is a stone pipe. Now you get stone from cooking cobblestone, and what this does is when uh, s when product is or mined up goods are shot through it, it will um, go at a faster. If it's given a, f a speed boost by using a gold pipe, which you'll see in a minute, it'll hold the speed longer than a cobblestone pipe will. So you'll be able to have things travel farther at a faster rate for a longer distance than a standard cobblestone pipe. Above that is the iron transport pipe. The iron transport pipe, what it does is it has, uh, if you put it down on the ground, I'll show you right here. If you have a series of pipes coming in and they're going to split, they're going to split between two different areas. Now, the way this one came out is anything coming in this pipe, going this way, 
will not be able to go to the left. It is being forced to go to the right. And anything coming on this pipe will not be able to go to the right. It'll be forced to go straight. So if you have multiple things pumping into one box, use the iron pipe to prevent them from... Because what happens if it goes this way, and this is just a standard... Say this is a standard black one. It'll just choose a random direction and go. And then if it, it doesn't bounce back, it just pops out of the pipe and it sits there. It's kind of a pain. Use a stone pipe to prevent it from going back on itself. <clears throat> and to change the way the orientation is, is you use a wrench, which I will show you later on. Use the wrench to change it. Now the next one is the gold pipe, and this is the speed pipe. What this does is it will... Place it down, say things are pumping along here and you want to speed them up, bam, you put a, put a gold pipe there. And what you do is you take a redstone torch, you put it right there, or right there, and this will get like an actual an orange color-ish look to it. And then when it goes through it, it'll shoot it faster. Now if you're using the stone pipes, it'll go, it'll shoot it faster and the speed will maintain for a longer distance. If you're just using cobblestone pipe, it'll only go for a certain amount of time, then you need another gold pipe. Next is the diamond transport pipe. What this one does is if you have pipes coming in, you put a diamond transport pipe down. You get these colors. When you right click on it, anything, as you can see, like green goes that way. Now anything that's being pulled up and you put into this green bar, say you were actually pulling up obsidian. When you put obsidian in there, when it comes through, only obsidian will be allowed to go through this pipe into a certain wherever this one is going. Anything that's put in the yellow, like if you have dirt, gravel, cobblestone, anything that's put in there, you just put one in there. You don't have to put more than one. Like obviously if I click, you can only put one. When it goes when it comes here it makes the decision. This is a uh, a sorting pipe, we'll call it. And uh Say you want dirt and gravel to go that way and cobblestone and iron to go this way. You would put those in here. Cobblestone, iron, dirt, gravel. And when it gets here, it goes, okay, all the dirt and gravel is going this way, all the cobblestone and iron is going this way into, you would put a box right there to collect it. These don't require power. And uh, obviously, not the cheapest thing to make because they use two diamonds, but you get eight of them. And the last type of pipe is the obsidian pipe. Now this one, when it's placed down, if something falls in front of it, it sucks it in and sends it along its way. So if you have an auto farm technique going on, or uh, a mob spawner, mob trap, when it falls down in front of the obsidian pipe, it'll suck it in and push it into a, another set of pipes and push it along its way. Those are the pipes, the, the standard pipes. Now we're going to get into the waterproof pipes. To make a waterproof pipe, you need to use a cactus, burn it in a furnace, and this will give you cactus green. Use, the, use whoa, dog attack. Use the cactus green in your crafting box, and you get waterproof pipe. Pipe waterproof is what it's called. Now, take all these out. Now, the waterproof pipes use one pipe, or one, uh, we'll call it a hose. Use one hose, and then one of the other one. Oops, not that one. There we go on top of it. So that one would work. Wooden pipe. Okay. That makes waterproof pipe. Now I don't I've never actually built anything underground, so I don't know what kind of influence this has when or underwater. So I don't know what kind of influence that has when you're underwater. But at some point you will need it to be waterproof. Now there's only four types of these. Cobblestone. I don't think there's a stone one. No, yeah, there is. We'll make all of these. Oops. Five types, I mean. 
iron, and then the gold. Oops, wrong way. Those are the waterproof ones. There is not a waterproof diamond, there's not a waterproof obsidian. I don't know if they are actually waterproof to begin with, or you just don't use them underwater. But, um, usually you're not doing sucking in or uh, decisions underwater, you're just transferring underwater, if you have to. Those five. Now, there are the powered ones. These ones I have never actually oh wow, used myself, but they work the same way. You put one in, and you get a golden conductive pipe. Stone, there's only the three of these types. Stone, gold, and wooden. Those are the powered ones. Which, we'll do a little, do a little test. Oops, almost lost it. Nope, didn't seem to want to connect. But those ones are powered. Never actually used one. Never had a reason to use one, so I've never messed around with them. On next, let me dump this out. Now we're actually getting into the making of things. Like the actual machinery. And we'll start off with... I'm going to take all this out of here because I need to go use the crafting table. I'll come back to that. Now a crafting table in the middle with four wooden gears around the outside creates an automatic crafting table. What this does is you set up, oops, and you right click on it, anything you put in here, when it's being pulled from uh, a chest and it goes into the automatic crafting table, whatever pattern you put here will be created once it's filled. So, say you were making uh, wooden, wooden uh, gears, and you had a stick, a stick, a stick, and a stick right here. in in the actual automatic crafting table first. Now, when it when it pulled more sticks out of this chest and it put them in here, once it filled all four spots, bam, a uh, wooden gear would appear. Now, the pipe has to come out of the top and go into another chest or whatever. And every time one is been able to be created when the materials are provided, it'll put it into the chest. Now, I'll actually get along into... I think part three of this tutorial will actually be showing you what they they do and how they work. But um, for now, that's just the automatic crafting table. Next is the mining well. This is one of the first things you're going to come across when you are playing. If you're playing without using an item modifier or an inventory modifier. This, which will need to be powered. The powering section will be the next part. What it'll do is it'll drill a hole straight down. One straight, all the way down from here, straight down, until it hits lava or bedrock. And everything it hits, every block it hits, will spit out. So you put a pipe, you attach a pipe to it, put it into a, um, a chest, and everything goes right into the chest. So one hole straight down. Boom. Everything. That's the first mining uh, machine you actually come across when you play without cheating. It's the easiest one to make. <laughs> that one was uh, six iron ingots, a gear, an iron pick, and redstone. That one's the easiest to make. It doesn't take it. You can power it with redstone power. You can. There's three different types of engines. The redstone power one should power up. Uh, that's the weakest of the three but this will make a hole straight down, pull everything out, put it in a box for you. Well, this is where I'm going to end it. The uh, part one is the basics. This is basically what you'd be using as you were playing an LP, going along, not cheating, and actually mining up your own things. These are the things you'll come across. Uh, in part two, I will show you a quarry, I will show you a filler, and uh, the actual 
power to power these. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if this was helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see, well, part two and three will be the rest of the tutorial. Like always, uh, I'm Dave, and by the way, good luck and have fun. Stay tuned to uh, part two.